So this is Amar Jyot Singh. As usual, I'm back with uh, one of those other videos uh, that I always tell the public about a certain case that I hear in Canada. Recently, I got a case from a client who was uh, denied uh, for postgraduate work permit. As you see on the screen, what is postgraduate work permit? Uh, and eventually, uh, um, after the sequence of events, he was asked to leave Canada. So he's, uh, you know, he's done. He, so his his dream of getting the experience in Canada and applying for PR is gone. Uh, there were some mistakes that were done in postgraduate work permit application itself, and that's what I will discuss today so that you can avoid those mistakes. My discussion will start from uh, the study permit. If you look at on the screen, the study permit is issued for 90 days, in a general uh, normal circumstances, 90 days uh, plus your course. So if you are studying for a two-year diploma, so your study permit will be valid for two years plus 90 days. 90 days is the time needed for you to apply. As soon as you graduate, uh, now you can apply for postgraduate work permit. So that's why we get 90 days. Uh, what I want you to understand is that if you do not apply within 90 days, then you lose the eligibility for, uh, for getting the postgraduate work permit. And now we will look at the postgraduate work permit. Take a look. So the postgraduate work permit, as you see on the screen, uh, it tells you very clearly, allows students who have graduated from Canadian institutions to gain experience. And then, of course, you can qualify for, for PR. If you look at, uh, this is a LMI exempt work permit. That's why it is more, much uh, valuable than anything else. And the work permit under the PG will be issued for length plus maximum of three years. So if you have uh, done a two-year uh, diploma, then you get for three years. Even for three years, you get it for three years. You don't get for longer than than three years. All right. So this is one thing. So who is eligible to participate? Who can apply for a uh, postgraduate work permit? You must have a valid study permit uh, when applying for the work uh, work permit. You know the thing is, um, in this case, what I'm I'm, I'm mentioning today, uh, this student was studying somewhere in Surrey. And uh, due to some confusion from the school itself, I think his course was supposed to end on June, but it ended, uh, either it ended or the school uh, failed to write it correctly, uh, and they wrote this as February. When the course officially is shown as ended in Feb February, they should have applied, they should have given to the student some kind of letter saying that it, you know, it, it ended prematurely. Uh, but... If the officially the course is, has ended on February, uh, February and, and the student actually f did not know or was not aware the requirement to apply for the postgraduate work permit, he waited till June or later. So from February, March, April, May, he lost the opportunity to apply for the postgraduate work permit and obviously it was denied. When the application was made to CIC Wegreville, the, the, the postgraduate work permit was denied. The consultant, if I was a consultant, I would have challenged it and I would have you know, asked the school to write an explanation letter. And in ordinary circumstances, they could have reversed that decision and the postgraduate work permit would have been issued. I do not know what the consultant did or whether they talked to immigration about it or the student uh, you know, made an effort to bring it up to high authorities, including the school. Nothing of that sort happened. After it was declined, uh, the study permit was gone and the postgraduate work permit application was declined. Somebody said, okay, let's file for restoration of status. And that's a wrong strategy. A restoration of status uh, could have resulted in status on a visitor visa or not on study visa. So even if a restoration of status would have given a visitor, uh, visitor permit, or like a visitor record, they would have lost the opportunity to apply for the postgraduate work permit anyway. All right. So if you look at, uh, look at the uh, requirement on the screen, so you must have the valid study permit. So even if the restoration had gone successfully, he would not have had the valid study permit and he would have lost the, the chance to apply for the postgraduate work permit. You know, the thing is, uh, you you have to understand, if you do a mistake, there is no going back in immigration. It's very difficult to reverse that decision. The consultant, when they filed for the restoration of status, I do not know whether they filed it or not. If they, if they were filed, they would not have resulted in success anyway. If they would have uh, filed it, you know, it, it would have made them ineligible for postgraduate work permit. But somebody ask them, either the consultant or somebody else, ask them to actually go to the uh, the port of entry, the border at U.S. and Canada, and then apply for the permit there, which is, you know, bogus to me, and it does not 
makes sense because you cannot go to the port of entry until you have been approved and you're going there to obtain a permit, which of course CBSA will do. In this case, what happened? The CBSA actually detained the person because he was already uh, out of the study permit and his application for perhaps restoration of status as a visitor recovery was pending. Uh, the CBSA interviewed him, they detained him, they, they, they put him in a cell and they deemed that, you know, uh, you are not eligible to, to go back and now you must leave Canada. And he was given a few days, I think maybe uh, seven to ten days. Uh, but the student, uh, you know, was shocked, of course. And then when he came out and he had to leave Canada, but he did not. And now he's out of status. Uh, Everything went wrong because of mistakes e either by the school or by the consultant itself, but I will hold the consultant responsible because they didn't do enough to analyze the situation and, and, and you know, give corrective uh, remedy. So, you know, you have to understand, you know, how, how these things work. I mean, this is, a, this is right on the, on the CIC website. So I am on the CIC website, as you can see, uh, post graduation uh, work permit program is very clear. So you have to be very careful that you are applying for the post graduate work permit in time. If you do not, uh, then you will uh, face problem. And this is what has happened in this case. So I hope you understand. I hope you follow the links and ask your, uh, you know, visa counselors in your college or, uh, you know, go to a lawyer at least who understands how these things work. And, you know, for the consultant who has messed up on this, you know, I, I don't feel sorry for him or her. I think this is uh, blatantly their mistake. All right. Thank you very much for your time. Take care.